Hello YouTube, I'm Morphin and we are continuing with my Lepidus campaign. I have just attacked the Sicily, take over the settlement out from the Pompeys and I am declaring war on Octavian. I have laid down the siege on one settlement close to Iberia. I don't want how to resolve this battle because you can see that my remaining force is quite low although victory is high very high but i will lose a lot of men by out resolving it so i will play it by myself but before that i want to do something else and we'll continue with the siege put my spy into intelligence stance and let's switch my view over here look at this i have a perfect chance for attacking the Octavian's transport ships with my navy. So let's get rid of them. Oh, they're running away. I didn't expect that to happen. I didn't expect that. Let's try to attack Panormus, which is another settlement in Sicily province, which is empty. Garrison is quite damaged, so I can now to resolve it with protective stance where 95% of my force will survive and I will peacefully occupy the settlement my admiral increases in rank Pontidus Potitus he is not member of my family I think yeah he is actually the only general admiral that is not part of my family Let's level him up. We'll take, we'll take... Artillery command. And I can now start improving the province. My only fear actually is that they have something in Syracuse. At your command. But I will do my best to defend myself with few more legionaries too bad I don't have any slingers but all right let's improve the aggregantum settlement I still don't want to work on improvements in Panormus because I'm afraid that they can attack me here they even have a navy no those are enemy transports As a Lepidus, you have a bonus on wealth coming from agriculture. So I should focus on agriculture a bit more. And I will rise the one more force. I already have two forces, two armies on my eastern border. I'll try to defend against Mark Antony. But I have, a, I have a piece over here, so I will rise one more force in Hispania so I can send two armies simultaneously. One will go on the right side, one on the left side. So I will rise one more force here. And I want that general to be not from my family. Not from my family. Because I already have a lot of generals in my family. Not enough cash for more. What technology am I researching? Concrete, alright. Now let's go, f go for water sluicing. And I can end the turn, see how Pompey and Octavian will react on my recent conquest, on my recent attacks. Uh, Iberians all also have... What is this? What is this? Iberians also have one stack close to Octavians. They are my client states, so I'm sure they can be helpful. Pompey is pulling back. 
I already said in the first few starting recordings that I will try to build up a huge navy in this campaign and try to use it in my advantage since until now I, I didn't consider navy to be so important. N for me navy was only a really expensive type of army that I'm not using so much but I will try to make a difference here. Our hidden agent is exposed, oh, uh, nice. trade gained, my dignitary have plus two culture influence now, attrition, I can I can attack the Narbo until they get uh, reinforcements, you can see that they have five turns before they surrender, so I, I want to minimize my attrition, let's build up this force. In Hispania. Ready for further orders. Are you ready to serve Rome? Continuing with recruitment of Velites and legionaries. I don't have enough cash for more. So I'm ending another turn. Let's check out those guys. Can I attack Syracuse now? I wonder how many units they have. Maybe I should rise an agent, but I don't have a cash for agents. Let's move, let's move this navy up here, just to scout a little bit and see what they have in Syracuse. Quite damaged. I, I will attack them. I have enough movement points to do so. Tortoise! Whoa, I have access to Tortoise! Light battering ram, leather, and the light galley. But since all those units are damaged, I will have to resolve. But let's get closer. Oh, I don't have. I cannot switch back to normal stance. Let's out to resolve. Remaining force, 71%. Whoa, man! Look at this, I lost my artillery ships. That's because I was in a double time stance. Man, what a mistake. My two most expensive ships got destroyed. And I almost lost the general, look at this. Oh man, let's occupy. What a huge mistake. Military traditions. Look at this. I lost my navy. Oh, and I couldn't win the battle even without the navy. So that was purely my mistake. Alright, so now I'm safe and now I can work on improvements of Sicily. But I should definitely pull back this navy in Africa and recruit more artillery ships and assault quadrim with legionaries. Let's check out diplomacy. Can I trade with Egypt now? Enter friend and nope. speak. They won't accept. People are wealthy and intellect. Income is really bothering me. I have a lot of shrines and I can see that Latin culture is quite high and rising, so I can destroy. I can destroy Shrine of Jupiter and build up the industry. go for bread and game sedict for food seven public order minus five percent units recruitment bread and games and we'll destroy shrine of jupiter here build up the industry because i really need more cash now 
What is this? Enemy transport. Oh no, enemy fleet. Enemy fleet. I hope they will not attack me now. Definitely must pull back this fleet back to Africa. Ending another turn. What? This character has unassigned skills. Which one? Which one? Lady one Hercula. Damaged in a uh, bonus to damage by missile units. I consider this to be very important to improve the damage from your missile units because in Rome 2 you're fighting a lot of heavily armed units with shields and everything else. So if you improve the damage from your missile units, you will be it will be easier for you to skirmish them. And I can end the turn now. No, <laughs> one more time I forgot to attack Octavian and I'm sieging them. I'm losing my men from Artition and there is a big chance that Octavian can bring some reinforcements. I have a feeling that Antony could declare war on me quite soon but I hope that they are busy in the Middle East fighting all those eastern nations, eastern factions. What will Iberians do? Mission successful. What? Completely control 8 provinces. Alright. And I've got 3500s, which is quite welcome. And one more. Oh no, objective issued. Maintain 100 units in total. How much I have? I really don't know. Never mind. Uh, let's move those ships back to Africa. And recruit more. transports maybe they decide to attack Panormus where I have quite damaged garrison let's pull back I have enough movement points to cover whole Sicily with only one army this is amazing in normal stance of course all right let's improve the farms I cannot build an industrial building. Oh, because I already have one. I have trench mine. Man, what a mistake. Mistake, mistake, mistake. Let's go for agriculture then. Let's attack Octavian and I will see you on the field guys. Hope we will all enjoy. Their garrison army is not losing men due to attrition. Let's assault. Wow, look at this position. Up on a hill. Oh, I'm really sorry. Every time I play this fucking room, I, I I feel so sorry for my bad graphics. Unbelievable. I'm talking about it in every single recording and I'm going crazy already. I mean, graphics is not everything, but 
we now we have really great game it is patched now and it is working perfectly everything now is as it should be from day one and i don't know there is so much possibilities to have such a great looking game and i have bad graphic cards look at this scene look at this nature look at this map and i have bad graphics you know what i mean crazy i must buy that card as soon as i can it will be my top priority top priority to buy a new graphic card Alright, position my Valites, group 1, Legionaries, group 2, and Cavalry with my General, group 3. I don't want my Ballista to fire at will. I want Explosive Round, which gives bonus against Infantry, but I'm losing Accuracy. Let's start the battle and start charging my artillery now have a perfect position up on this hill and i hope they will be precise just must discover the enemy units which are hidden probably somewhere down below and here they are all right, time for my ballista. They have enough range to shoot them. They have a perfect position and they should do a lot of kills. Uh, first volley, nine, nine men killed. I must remember you, this is a medium unit size. So if you see, I don't know, that I killed 10 men in a large unit size, it will be double will be double in a large unit size my ballista killed 63 men already and if I'm playing large unit size it would be 120 probably at least I think so because I know that large unit size is double come on come on come on come on come on come on I must I want to start shooting before them and it's quite strange because they are attacking me they are defenders all right i want my cavalry on sides I didn't use that charge bonus. I, I should stop the ballista from shooting. Or at least shoot at those units in the background. destroying them from the kill look at this my artillery is oh man and now try to oh friendly fire friendly fire stop artillery imagine this on ultra settings man imagine this on ultra settings artillery shots from all sides tons of my units fighting from the kill man amazing this would look amazing on large unit size on on uh, on ultra graphics oh man and now you see why am i talking about it all the time and why i feel sorry for for bad graphics although everyone is talking how graphics is not important but it is it is just to give you that feeling of the game immersion into the game is important let's use a flying wedge which will improve my charge and try to hit the general route all those guys over here and the battle is done i will stop my velites from shooting i don't want a friendly fire and will rush down with my general 
try to get some free kills. those guys will break and now you can see in a previous recording I was using a war cry but in a wrong moment so it wasn't helpful enough when your enemy have a high morale then there is really no point in using war cry because you will do nothing with it wait for enemy morale to drop a little bit and then use a war cry and they will be routed for sure. Alright, I don't want to waste your time recording the battle that is already done. I will try to get some extra kills with my general and I will see you on a campaign map. Narbo is mine. They even have some military buildings inside, which will be helpful. Ready for battle. My general increases in rank. I think I have auxiliary camp, which means I can recruit a bit different That's units. Let's see, what can I... Auxiliary cavalry. And war dogs. Yeah, war dogs. But look how they are expensive. 97 for upkeep. Oh man, those those vigilants are cheaper to upkeep. Auxiliary infantry is cheaper. Velites are cheaper. Leves are cheaper than war dogs. Alright, let's level up the general. I think I have a quite good balance now. Because I'm fighting with all my generals and admirals together. And I took a right decision when attacking Narbo because I don't have to pull back now to recruit more units. Or I can do everything from the front line. Which is good for me. But let's move my spy up over here. I don't want to get attacked from the other side. It seems like this province is also empty. And this is the reason why I have recruited one more army. So I can cover all access to my, to my regions, to my empire. I'm not sure for how long am I recording already. But I think I should stop. Alright, Baetica is one of my main settlements for income. I should improve the settlement capitals, but for all that I need advanced construction, which I am going for. After the water sluiced, of course. All right, and that's it for now. I will I will stop the recording. I have to go on my job. It's already late. Yeah, I should go for on my job now and stop the recording. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please press the like button down below. There is a lot more action coming soon. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching, guys, and bye-bye.